Speaking of lyrics, did you hear any lyrics at the BET Awards? Oh, no. Did you even know the BET Awards? Oh, and when I went to YouTube and seen a bunch of BET Awards videos pop up, I'm like, oh, they had an awards? And that's how I watched the awards, through that's clips crazy. on my YouTube. That's Shout out to Killer Mike for winning that award. You know, it's so crazy, bro. So I had seen I seen the same thing. I seen a clip earlier of Taraji doing the, um, which we're going to get into that in a second, y'all, this Taraji P. Uh, Henson thing. Yeah. But I seen a, a clip of that, and I'm thinking like, oh, is it the BET Awards coming up? And I was like, oh, it already happened? When did it happen? Oh, it happened this weekend? And then I was like, dang, bro. Is award shows dead? Because remember back, back in the day, bro, the hip-hop award shows, and I'm more so specifically speaking for the hip-hop award shows, when you had the Source Awards, bro, everybody knew the Source Awards was coming. When you had the, um, even the MTV uh, Music Award shows, when you had BET Awards, like, we knew, like, okay, it's like, has award shows got that trash, or are we just got so much other things going on in life that we just don't care. But I ain't seen no young people talking about it. I ain't seen no older people talking about it. It was like it didn't even happen. I think <clears throat> social media killed the award shows in more ways than we think. Like, we just think, oh, yeah, it's instant, all of this, whatever. And I think it killed uh, one reason, rather, another reason, because that is a big part, all those reasons why I shouldn't take away from that. Another reason why social media, I feel, killed Canada award shows is because we don't have the um, the time frame to let something sit for a minute. Like, we was riding on the way over here, and my cousin, Cordell, he was saying, like, he didn't, like, Kendrick or whatever, he ain't been heard from him. Like, he ain't been silent. The last thing you he heard was, like, Humble and DNA. I'm like, did you hear Mr. Morale and Big Steppers? He was like, nah, not really. I'm like, we had one of the biggest tours a couple. And, it, and that's how, like, distant it is. If you're not, like, every day in there, you're not in the algorithm. If you're not trying to be in everybody's algorithm, we going to miss you. With that being said, who knows, like, None of the songs, maybe none of the songs that was performed at the BET Awards got nominated for that song. Like, I don't know if the time frame, maybe it did fit with the uh, Glorilla remix because I watched her performance and then Meg came out and did the uh, They Hit the Wannabe. So maybe if that was up for an award, then maybe that qualifies. But I'm thinking, like, some of these songs is too new. Or maybe you just have to do the songs from that award thing. And if that's the case... Yeah, those probably hits, and we remember them. But you, know you just I, put out, like, three fire songs that I... It's, I don't you know. know, you know I think I, the timing be off with I it. I know. Just speaking of something that you just said with, with Nephew, which it actually is something that I realized, too, like, thinking about the war shows. And I over this weekend, I was riding around, and uh, I'm going to send him a shout-out, too. Uh, I swear, uh, Be Bezo. Mm -hmm. I've heard this name. I've seen his name. I've never listened to this dude's music, bro. Him and Babyface Ray, bro, them like my two new dudes. Like, I can't turn it off, bro. I can't turn it off. Like, yeah. I'm like, I can't believe I'm just now, like, really tapping in to him. And then shout out to my boy Rich, Sauce Walker. Fire, bro. Sauce Walker is fire, bro. So I'm like, damn. These dudes been out here putting in work for all this time. And I got, like, all this music for me now that I could just go back to and just listen. But I'm like, these dudes ain't been in my algorithms whatsoever. And then I'm thinking about like my younger people and like even my son, the music they listen to. I'm like, I don't even know who these people is. Mm -hmm. And the people I listen to, they don't know who they is. And I'm like, the thing about the internet, it did open up the world. It made music so easily accessible that only things that you really gonna grasp in your actual musical, you know, collection is what's in your algorithm. So the artist that's built around the ones you listen to, yeah, you kind of be hip to all of that. But then there's so much other music that people are taking in that you don't even hear. So then when you come across it, you're like, oh, this fire. They're like, oh, I've been listening. Even like uh, you brought in, um, not Don Tripp, um, you had, it was somebody you brought in for a verse of the week. And I was like, it might have been Don Tripp. But I'm like, man, I heard this dude name a lot. I didn't know he was nice like that. It probably was Don Tripp. And you probably like, bro, I've been listening to him for, you yeah, know, 15 yeah, years. Yeah. And it's like, that's crazy how that's you where music that became. And that is how it, uh, to your point, that is how it used to be. Um, you used to have to get put up onto artists or artists with your algorithm. I knew about 
the raucous artist and the most deaths and all of that because I was a raucous fan. Then, you know, you, you'll get an Eminem on there, which I'm already an Eminem fan, but now I'm excited to know that raucous rock with Eminem. I didn't know that. There wasn't no social media to see that, no pictures posted to show. Wasn't a bunch of features going around. You know what I'm saying? Like, people weren't that accessible. And I think now that it is that way, it's just an abundance. And shout out to Broken Or in the live chat. He said, it's no real appointment TV because we the phones, like, we just have access to everything so quickly. Mm -hmm. So why rush to see Why rush to see the BT Awards? I'm going to see the clips see the in the clips. morning on YouTube. Yep. So who and then BT? Why waste money promoting it? We gonna feed the YouTube and get the we'll money on the, the comeback on the YouTube anyway. Yep. Now what's the point of getting one of these awards? Nobody gonna see it. Just start lessening everything. That's a valid. It's that's kind a of very like very valid point, bro. It's kind of heartbreaking when you think about it because the music industry is really for the artists that love it, for the people that love it. And then I'm gonna get off of this because I don't want to depress it. But nah, I don't, you, man, you cooking cook. <laughs> but a pe music is really everything is lessening and getting cheapened and they just taking all of the heart and the soul out of it and that's why when somebody like Kendrick come through and have a moment like he did it gets celebrated like he did and we str like strive and want to keep it and want to hold on to it and make it you know we want to um we want to expound upon that and keep the and kind of get the culture back because we can see and how it's we losing it and how it's getting cheapened and lessened and that's getting way more acceptance and if the masses start accepting it or calling that the thing, his that's how history get erased. Right? And that was such a great point, bro. And I had two thoughts to that and they both gonna contradict, but damn that Craig <laughs> is cooking today, y'all. Craig <laughs> is cooking. But um one of one of the things speaking of like cheapening the culture with Kendrick. Um, I seen a Taraji Henson come out with the uh, this about us, and you know what I'm saying to the this uh, not like us thing, and I feel like I've seen a couple other things where people kind of it's almost like they making parodies of the song at this point, and I'm like I can see this turning into one of those songs that we're gonna we're gonna look back and be annoyed by, when this could have been a song like you said that was for the culture. This is like this this uh, this not you not like us like this is our thing, which is I think what Kendrick was actually trying to create. But now you see people already starting to do it. We're going to start seeing bird commercials. We Get fries like us. Get fries like us. You're going to start seeing all kind of like corn. I'm telling you, it's already starting to happen, bro. And it's like at this point, to your point about the culture being taken and people, we trying to take it back, that's, that's what I think of with the music too. So, like, you got the younger people who don't even care about Kendrick. They don't. They we're not giving y'all the culture back. This our culture. We listening to this. We don't even care what y'all old people listening to. We don't listen to Kendrick. We don't even listen to Drake. So like to them, you can't get the culture back because we creating our own subgenre of the culture, which a lot of it is like the drill music. Oh, this is what I was gonna say. I just, it just hit me thinking about this topic, Tita Goat. I have a song that's like a guilty pleasure that I'm listening to right now, and I shouldn't enjoy it. And I'm I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I shouldn't enjoy it because. I know it's mocking the dead, you know what I'm saying? The drill rapper, drill culture stuff, I know. But Young and Ace got this song called Do It. Bro, I should not enjoy this song. I should not enjoy it. But it's fire, bro. It's fire. And, like, I don't care how old I am. Like, I, it, it's still a good song. Like, I know it's terrible, but it's a good song, bro. And it's like, if this is what the young kids out here actually listening to, they not gonna really care about the culture like we do. You have a like, um, I. <laughs> so you have a you remember like uh, when you was a kid that tell you, don't go in the mirror and say like Bloody Mary, mm -hmm. Candy Man, yep, 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 like yep, that. yep. And then you'll be like, well, that can't be true. How could that be true? But then. You would never go in the bathroom and actually do it and do it because mm -hmm. you don't want to play. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about that type of music, bro. When I hear that type of music, I'll be I say. terrified. I feel you know what I to feel like it because you never know who don't it's like, like it some and might crazy. catch you listening to it, bro. It's crazy because it's so like I don't even. I just stay away. I just be like, I'm not even gonna play I mean, with it's, that. It's Fulio. Like, it's I Fulio even, songs. R.I.P. to Fulio. It's like this. Is what I'm saying. No, I don't the, even. I don't know enough the, about it. I don't listen to no, the this songs. No, this what I'm saying though. 
we're not gonna be listening to those artists like that because we're not we in the, we we listen to take like uh one take. Like we hear one take and be like yo this is fire this is what I, this is what I'm gonna listen to. This is oh no, I heard do it and I heard Don Julio. But it's but it's see, but because the, the Don oh that's that, that one because, bro. Because but you but why but why did I listen to it because you, I'm like you you, you, had, you had to listen to it because I'm like well but you don't want it like you you it's like you said I don't want to ride around in my car listening to it yep. I'm not bro, putting it in hey I'm not putting it in my algorithm it's, 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 I listen it's, to it's, it at it's my a, job computer where I'm not signed in on YouTube <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come get me as it's the scary times in hip hop bro you can't even hey, think, 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 about, <laughs> think about how many ain't nobody gonna know what that is that we heard like gangster rap songs we heard coming up. Up, right, and they was talking on some of the crazy. Like MC8 had some crazy songs. Even my mom playing tricks on me is a crazy song. We never thought about it could be a victim attached to these songs. Mm. We just listened to the song. It was like a movie. Now you know what? We because of social media, we know who these songs are about. So it's a That's lot the problem. Different. Because it's like, we, I shouldn't like this. Hey, Queese, it was always probably a victim to some of these songs. It, exactly. They just was never telling you who the victim was. We didn't know the stories. And now <laughs> all of a sudden, all kind of stuff. You wake up in the morning, hit your YouTube algorithm, and you Crazy. hit who I smoke. Da, 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 da. And I'm oh, like, I, what? Look, look, don't even what? say that one. That one is too demonic, fire. bro. That okay, wait too- a minute. Maybe not. It's not fire. <laughs> hey, we take. Too. <laughs> Queen's gonna get me shot. <laughs> I don't know what that song is. Hey, it's too demonic. I was talking about Vanessa Carlton. <laughs> it's too demonic, bro. Some of some of oh, it's like man. it's like some of King Von stuff. It's like, bro, I'm a person that like Von and I like Duck stuff. But it's like, bro. I can't even enjoy the music because you gotta, to you it. gotta, you gotta pick a side. I really can't listen to that. I'm, too, I'm from Chicago, and we in Matt, and we too close to Chicago. So, <laughs> nah, somebody might hear that and be like, "That's who you riding with?" No, man, I'm it's a fire music, beat, bro. You, you, you know, can't enjoy the, you can't even enjoy the music, bro. You become an op, bro. But oh, uh, that's crazy. Oh yeah, you made a. Uh, it's funny. Go from that funny rain and then go back to the seriousness point. But mm-hmm. I did want to bring this up because you was bringing up the not like us and how it's being abused and everything, and which is a scary thing about it. First thing I want to say about the BET thing and Taraji, they letting uh, Taraji do that. That's how you could tell it's not as many. I don't even want to say black people. It's not as many cultured people. Maybe we using culture too much, but you get what I mean when I say that. It's not too many cultured people in that room making that choice for them to say, let's not do this to this song right now. Or if we're going to do this to this song, it better be fire. Let's not. It's it's about us. It's oh my! I don't even see it. But when I seen the thumbnail, I was like, "This is already cringe." Hurt, it hurts so me. Cringe. It's hurting me enough on the inside. You know, I can't see people rap terribly. I gotta skip through it because it hurts me physically. Oh, it's embarrassing. And she was trying, and she tried. Like she tried. So it's I not. It's no knock to that's her. That's cookie. That's cookie. Cookie. She cookie tried. Cookie gonna go for it. But uh, and, she but almost looked like she ain't really want to do it too. Like I'm not gonna hold you because she that she know like we this know corny. I we think it, she, she know we know she down. And we know, we she, know she down. She, and she need the money. She need the money, and it's like I feel like y'all just kind of. I feel like you kind of just sent her out there for that little ass check and made her make a fool of herself. And I think she knew it, but I feel like she was a professional about it. And this is why I feel like Taraji do need to be getting them checks that she feels she covets because no matter what. She just be professional and she do her job. Yeah. Y'all, y'all lowballing her in these movies. She still go out there and give it her all. She don't, she don't take no, you know what I'm saying? I've never seen her take it off. You know what I'm saying? You never see a movie role where oh, Saraji could have did better. She goes a hundred percent no matter what you give her. And I feel like that performance was another example of that. That could also be a part of always keeping the Laurie seasoning. Always being one of those that keep Laurie seasoning in the cabinet. For real. Is that uh, sometimes you feel like you need that job and I got to do this. And you sometimes acquiesce. Sometimes thou acquiesce too much. And, uh, yeah. But so that was my first point on that. Like, some that's not one. But another thing is, as far as commercials and all of that, is that the dangers of him kind of lifting a copyright for the creative people? Or I'm sure it's probably a way where if McDonald's tried to do it, he can say, hey, Oh, no, 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 no. You they, 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 they definitely put the... Um... So they they put the copyrights back on. So they they okay. only they only took that off for like I think it was like a month. They let all the content creators basically eat, and then they yeah they they, right. they threw that back on. So yeah, it won't all be right. none of that going on. But hey, just a yeah. month. Of, he's let us eat for a month. 
Hey, but people was eating. People was doing hundreds of thousands of views on them videos. So, which is a cool. label allowing you to eat a little bit off them views. Shout out to the shout out to Kendrick and the you're labels, right, bro. You're right. I'm being greedy. Hey, don't be don't be. <laughs>